I'm going to dedicate this video to the grandfather David Dawn, who was shot and killed by looters in St. Louis. More so because how his death was televised or live streamed on Facebook, which made me realise I had to say and deal with this my way. So first of all, I'm going to tell you the story of Hazran Muhammad. Hazran Muhammad lived in Halsden, otherwise known as Little Somalia, with his wife, obviously Somalian, and her son. And one day there was a job opportunity came up that he could do really well. So he sent his CVs in and he got called forward for an interview. Upon arriving there on that day for the, the interview, he turns up, he stands at the desk and the receptionist asks him, can I help you, sir? He says, yes, I'm Hazra Mohammed. I'm here for the job interview. She says, oh, could you wait here a minute, please, sir? The next thing you know, she comes back with the supervisor and the supervisor then tells him that unfortunately the job was not open for him. So he was told that, sorry, but no thanks. So undeterred, eventually Hazra Mohammed got himself a job as a security officer working at nights of her helping his family and then he met the Russians who were working in that area at that time and he became friendly with them and was troubled by the story of this woman so much so that he asked his nephew if he would do a marriage of convenience so that she could get a passport his nephew said no So Hazram being Hazram decided to do it himself. Although he was already married, he broke the law in order to rescue this woman by getting her a passport. Thinking he'd done a good deed. Shortly after that, Hazram Mohammed was found kneeling down in front of the block of flats on fire. It took 30 minutes before the, the emergency services turned up to put him out. He was literally burnt alive. And the only way they could identify him was through his dental records. So now his wife was a widow of her son. To make matters worse, the coroner's report was left as an open verdict because they didn't want to investigate it. So nobody knows what happened to Hazra Mohammed in those last moments of his life, which must have been absolute agony. left there to die alone just like David Dawn but there's more tragedy to this story because Hazra Muhammad's brother was so affected by it that a few years later that he drove to a beauty spot and his brother put a hose from the exhaust into the back window of the car sat in the front seat and slipped both his ankles. The autopsy said that he died from bleeding out and not from asphyxiation. This horrible story makes you realise how horrible racism really is. But it wasn't racism. It was identity politics. You see, because Hazram Mohammed 
was my uncle because he had two names because of his wife's religion he became a convert to that religion for her because he loved her his other name was AJ and the brother was my father and he did that while I was at university this was identity politics in action as you are watching all the identity politics being played out on the television screens by the media and the sycophantic politicians feeding on it for political brownie points well I'm going to say how people can stop this but it's going to take courage to my American brothers and sisters of all walks of life of all sexualities of all demeanors whatever you are go into those communities that were burnt down to those people who lost their shops most of them are the very people that these people are screaming about their lives matter help rebuild the communities if you can afford these large businesses go in there rebuild it show that the people are not what the media are saying everybody is show the world that the media is what it is a lying dishonest and evil group of people that need to be held to account for what they have done because all of this you can attribute to the media and the politicians that are playing the card of race and identity politics I'm not leaving the comments section open on this I just want you to listen I want you to take in because if you want to win go into those communities stand with those people rebuild those people's lives that was destroyed by the very people that said that they cared for their lives I pray for you I pray for America I pray for the soul of America because at the end of the day it is the people that are going to defeat this evil ideology of political identity that's driving people apart.